Hey folks, Nass here. Another episode of Medieval Dynasty in our Season 5. So in this episode, we are going to continue with the Unigar Story 6. Uh, we have got to go uh, talk to Ida and get a new crossbow for Dom. That way he can protect um, Dieter, the medic, uh, while we try and get him out of the valley. That way he can actually tell us more about this uh, murder of Rasimir's uncle, Jordan. So, I've already checked all those barrels. <laughs> They've been sitting there a couple of seasons. Uh, but anyway, I've got to go all the way over to Borowu, so I will see you folks when we get there. Well, I made a, a stupid mistake, and I went all the way over to uh, Baranica. <laughs> realized I was supposed to be in Borowu, so that's why I'm coming in the back way. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see about finding Ida. Looks like she's going to be right down here. Not Ida, are you? No. Ida is... Oh, she's going to be sitting outside here. Doing a little F5. Talk to Ida. You again. This time I need Dom's crossbow from you. Oh no. Not you again. What? Didn't she just say that? Oh no, not you again. I'm not play playing with you anymore. Oh wait, that's me. Uh, come on. Don't be... Oh no, that's her. That was her. She, didn't she say not you again before I changed to this screen? Anyway, oh no, not you again. I'm not playing with you anymore. Come on, don't be like that. Now this is the gal that apparently gave us uh, like a riddle or something the last time we had to talk to her for quest. Uh, let's see. No, forget it. How much for it then? Your coins won't be good this time as well. I need you to do something for me. Oh my God, everybody's got an agenda. <laughs> I'm in a time critical situation. It won't take long. Arr. Okay, what is it? I need you to get me some fish, and they better be fresh. I don't have time to argue with you. I'll get you your damned fish. Oh, I got 20 fish meat. Okay. I know I've got fish meat. I just got to go to my uh, resource stores to get it. Probably just go to the fishing village to do that which is back over this direction i'm just going to cut through town here and go get her fish and i'll be back in just a second all righty there we go i've got her fish meat got her fresh fish meat i don't know if it had to be fresh or not i probably could have given her my rotten stuff but let's head back over to Ida and give her her fish meat so we can get this crossbow for Dom. Nothing like traveling all the way around the map for this quest. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll see you folks when we get back to Ida. Alrighty, here we go, back in Borowu, and here's Ida right here. Miss Ida, Miss Ida, <laughs> do you have it? I've got your fish. Take it. And what happened to your manners? They went where the sun don't shine. Give me the crossbow. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Finally. Bye. <laughs> Wait. Don't you want to know what I need all this fish for? Maybe another time. Yeah, why would I care whether she needed the fish or not? Unless she's planning some kind of practical joke or something. Okay. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Switched over. All right. Now we got to get the crossbow back to Dom. All right. I'm going to head back to Dom to give him his crossbow. So I will see you <laughs> on the other side of the map. All righty. Here we go. Coming into Jezreka to talk to Dom and give him his crossbow. Where is he? Oh, he's down there. Like he's probably going to be in the water fishing. Um, I've got your crossbow, buddy. 
Dom! <laughs> Come out of the water! Alright, screw it. We'll go in here and talk with him. Don't you need to come up for air, buddy? And I think you have that... I think you have that fishing spear backwards. And the fish are right behind you. Well, you're you're good at this. Anyway, let's... Uh, oh, good job, buddy. Hey, you! Uh, let's see, still searching for the crossbow? No, we're not. Recognize this? My old crossbow. How did you get it? Uh, let's see. I've awoken my inner angler. Okay. <laughs> I think I don't want to ask for the details. The only thing that matters is that it's back in my hands. Tell Castrell that I'm ready when she is. Will do. Okay, so... Uh, oh, there's the grocery list. Okay, so we got 500 coins. That's easy. Uh, we need... 20 dried meat. I don't think I have any dried meat. Uh, we need water skin with water, which I've currently got one on me, but I've, I think I've also, I've got my people actually making and filling water skins because I plan on using buckets of water for recipes for food. So let me head over and see about getting some of this dried meat. Um... Let's see. I no, I know the I don't think anybody here is gonna have dried meat. And I'm almost positive I don't have any. But let me look. Uh, let me go into here. Let's go into here. Go to storage. Let's go to food. I got two food storages I need to oh, I even have two resource storages I need to upgrade. Okay. Good to know. Uh let's see. Dried meat. Do I have any? Two. <laughs> yeah, so I don't have any dried meat. Uh, let's see, how do we get dried meat? Is that, can we get dried meat through the kitchen? Or is that going to be through the uh, hunting lodge? I think it's going to be through the hunting lodge. Dang it. Okay. Uh, hopefully I can find... So there is a kitchen vendor in Hornica. I think I might see if they have dried meat. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go down to my hunting lodge and make some dried meat. I can't make dried meat. No, I can I can make roasted meat. I can't make dried meat on the campfire. All right, let me head over to uh, my little village, my farm meat, my, my animal village, excuse me and see what I can drum up over there. And then I'll go into Hornica and see if I if I can't if I can't make dried meat from the kitchen, which it doesn't look like I can, then I'm going to try and buy it from the kitchen vendor over in Hornica. Then if they don't have enough there, I'm going to have to go down to my hunting village back where I literally came from, which was, it would have been nice to have this grocery list of stuff as I was traveling around doing this other, these other things, these other little side quests. Hey buddy, how you doing? Not sure where you're going, but I'm sure you belong in a village of mine. So anyway, let me head over here. I'll see you folks in just a second. Alrighty, so I've slept to the next day. Let's call Miss Donkey. I did end up going into Hornica and purchasing uh, 18 of the dried meat because I had the two dried meat in my own uh, food storage. Then I came back over here. Instead of building a campfire, I just came over here and used the campfire that's in the middle of town to sleep the night. That way it's daylight. So now let's head back in here and I guess we have to deliver this stuff to Kestrel. Not sure why we have to deliver it to her instead of to the medic. But let's run into here and talk with Kestrel. Alrighty, there she is. Oh, she's standing outside the house now. Nice. Okay. So let's do an F5. Uh, you know what? Let's eat and drink a little bit. Don't eat the dried meat. Uh, we'll eat a meat and gravy. And I think I've got a bucket of water in here, right there. There we go. Perfect. Now we'll do an F5. 
and talk with Kestro. <clears throat> What's our status? All right, I have all the supplies we need. Great, and what about Dom? Uh, I've convinced him. He's waiting for your signal. Very good, and I've managed to get us a horse. Looks like we have everything we need. That's right. Let's not waste any more time then. Go to the medic and tell him that everything is waiting for him in Hornica as soon as he gives you the name. Uh, wish me luck. Okay, there we go. Now we got to go and talk with Dieter. Man, this is a lot of run around here. Uh, uh, mm. I ran into a wolf the last time I was moving from Dieter to Hornica. So I'm going to leave Miss Donkey there. We're going to pull our crossbow out. We're going to get it ready. And I'm going to work my way over to Dom on foot. So I'll see you folks in just a second. Alrighty, here we are back at Dieter. So we're going to save again. Dieter. If you're a bandit, better go back. <laughs> Everything is ready and awaiting you in Hornica. And how can I be sure to trust you? Because I'm Jordan's blood. I'm the I'm same as him. I always keep my word. Damn you, son. If it wasn't for those eyes, fine. I'll tell you what I know, then I'm out of here. And I'd advise you to do the same. Just tell me. I was waking in the middle of the night. A cloaked man said that there, there had been an accident and someone was in need of my attention. I wasn't thinking much of it. That's part of my duty, and I was half asleep on top of that. So I grabbed my mantle and walked out with the stranger. Rain was pouring down from the sky so heavily it almost hurt. I've realized that the man was taking me to the Castilian's house. I asked him about it, and he confirmed. The accident happened to the Castilian, he said. His voice was so faint, I could barely understand him. We went to the house, and there I saw Jordan. It was clear to me that I've been lied to. I wanted to run, but the cloaked man blocked the way out. Why was it clear? Did you see? Jordan's throat was, was sliced open. Ooh. He looked peaceful, as if he was sleeping. His eyes were closed. The wound was elegant. The cut was really precise. I wonder if Jordan had even realized he was dying. The man spoke to me with the same faint voice as before. He told me to burn the body as soon as the rain stopped. That way, I wouldn't even need to lie, because everybody will presume a disease. So that's exactly what I did, and he helped me. Helped me move the body and light it up. Helped me scrub the blood off the floor and burn the sheets. He was very polite, calm, but not cold. In the end, he asked me if he needed to threaten me with death. I denied. It was clear to me from the moment I saw the blood, I went back to my affairs and never told anything about it to anybody. Then, a couple of weeks later, I run f I've run. i run from Gustovia, fearing for my life. Why? Why only after weeks? Because the man in the cloak became the Castilian himself. No, 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 no. It can't, it cannot be. I'm sorry, my child. You're lying. He would have never done it. <clears throat> I'm sorry. What was his name? You know his name. Tell me his name. Unigost. Alrighty. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Why, why is this thing standing right behind me? What the flip are you doing? Can you, can you not get me in here? Oh my God. Thank God you, you can't get in here. Uh, let's, um, yeah, I know. I gotta go. <laughs> oh, he ran away. Whew, thank goodness. <laughs> that was <laughs> freaking Weissant standing right behind me during that dialogue. Holy crap. <laughs> well, alrighty then. Uh, I can't jump over the fence. There we go. Where'd that Weissant go? Is he 
he just gone gone hopefully he's gone gone okay so now we've got to go and talk to Unigos. So clearly we have to confront him because the medic says that he was the man in the cloak that supposedly slit Jordan's neck but the medic didn't see the medic didn't see who killed Jordan the medic just saw the man in the cloak and the man in the cloak helped him dispose of Jordan's body and the man in the cloak was Unigost but Unigost may have not actually wielded the knife that slit Jordan's throat oh this is getting interesting <laughs> <laughs> well alrighty uh, I think we're going to call this an episode here uh, because we just don't have time for another lengthy conversation with somebody since we had to run all over the map what twice circle the map <laughs> well, alrighty folks I think we're going to call that an episode uh, we've really got some juicy information now um, so <laughs> we're going to have to go and talk to Unigost in a separate video uh, but anyway uh, please make sure to click that like button. Uh, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, please consider clicking that red subscribe button below the video. Uh, also tick that notification bell that way you're notified each time I put up upload a new video. Uh, also, I've got links you can follow me at. Uh, I've got Twitter and Facebook, Buy Me a Coffee, Reddit. I've got a Discord channel you're w welcome to join. So feel free to follow me in those locations. Uh, and you folks take care and happy hunting.